Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last time we went over the subject of heaven, but that's not the end of the story. A lot of people think heaven is just a non-physical, spiritual state of being where every saint ends up for the rest of eternity, but there's more to it. According to the Bible, there will be a certain point when heaven itself will be changed, remade. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth was gone, and the sea is now no more. Revelation 21.1 one interesting thing about this new heaven is that it involves the resurrection of the dead. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It shall rise in incorruption. 1 Corinthians 15.42 This also isn't something that only Christians believe in. The Jews of the Old Covenant understood that at some future time, God would raise the dead. Martha said to him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. John 11:24. This idea of the dead being raised is found in the Old Testament writings of the prophet Daniel. And many of those that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some unto life everlasting, and others unto reproach, to see it always. Daniel 12:2. Jesus confirms this in the New Testament. Wonder not at this, for the hour cometh, wherein all that are in the graves shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that have done good things shall come forth unto the resurrection of life, but they that have done evil unto the resurrection of judgment. The Gospel of John 5, 28-29 So the dead will be brought back, and there's a clear difference between the previous mortal life and the new life. Obviously, those who are in heaven have been saved by Jesus, and they'll come forth to the resurrection of life. This means that their bodies will be restored, and more than restored, they'll be empowered, glorified, and made undying. Remember, these are bodies that rise in incorruption. Because of this, the souls in heaven will regain their bodies, and heaven will be not only a spiritual reality, but a very physical one as well. When we think of heaven having things like music, apples, mountains, and so on, we usually mean that it has the spiritual equivalents of these things, which serve the same purposes in terms of bringing happiness. But in the new heavens, there will be actual physical music, apples, mountains, etc. Good things will regain their physical dimension, and will be enjoyed by the saints, those in heaven, for all eternity. Next time, will there be a new hell? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.